Welcome back. We're going to be doing Glide with the Wind. Amber wishes to discuss the matter of how you've been using your wind glider. Which I assume is going to result in some enhancement to my wind glider. That would be nice. Hey, Traveler. I've been looking for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? I keep getting carried away and gliding too much. <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? You can have a license. God damn it, I, I mean, everything has to have a license. What are you doing, Paimon? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. Oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Favonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt! Then again, since Amber is the examiner... Hmm... Maybe you can cut me some slack? Maybe? No with a capital N-O! Do not challenge the authority of Examiner Amber! I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the Knights of Favonius Gliding Manual does not sound like a fun read. Well, guess I'd better get started. Chapter 1. So you decided to fly. No? Oh. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. Idiots. They ask the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, what you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. I was going to say, it can't just be wind, because... Hmm, that's a cool story. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Reads like a fairy tale. Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber. Oh, wind, courage, and wings. So can we fly? Oh. How goes your journey in... Tvat, Traveler? Uh, leave us your comments. <laughs> like how it's... Claws. Oh, e. that doesn't uh, sound very good. I like it. Well, 
that opened up a separate window and I didn't want that to happen when I'm recording. That was a bit annoying. Um, let's see here. I keep doing that. Right, so we need to go over there. Okay. Ooh, look at all those rewards. So much to do. Okay. I've been up there before. There's level sixes. Oh dear. <laughs> I've noticed that chest over there though. Completely forget about my stamina. But I have found some food. Actually. God recommended to me that I'll actually have now that would be good in this regard. Where is it? There, delicious. Bob. Betas Ratatouille. Decreases all party members' gliding and sprinting stamina consumption by 25% for 900 seconds. So I'll have that. It's like, just, just seems good. Ready? Mm, can I make it with this? Should be able to. Should be alright. Thank you. And where are we? There. So I just couldn't see her. It's like, where are you? Great, you're here. Did you have a good read through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? I can't say I really grasp the rules. Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. You, you've been there? Ah, oh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean though. Really? Hmm, Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animo slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh this is so embarrassing. But I can't read. Like, what? It's because, maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then. You just need to follow the marked route to the finish. I'm ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> right, okay. I'm assuming I've got wind below me pushing me up. Yeah, it's like, otherwise I was going to miss it. It's like, um, guys, it's like, I can't do anything about that. It feels like I'm missing it, it's like... Uh... You nailed it! But it's no surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there! Don't keep me waiting! Alrighty then! You heard her! Back to the city! Let's not keep her waiting! Let's keep her waiting. I'm gonna be evil about it. <laughs> Although I do want to learn how to glide better, so done it again. Hmm. I do want to go off and explore the map. I try and find more other stuff so I can get more. Um, what were they called again? Thingies so I could get more stamina. That's what I want to go out and get. So I imagine there's loads of those around. And I want to get more and more stamina because I feel that's going to be important 
both are exploring and uh, combat, so it be quite fruitful. Hey, here, over here. Yeah, I noticed. I spoke to you. I'm all set up. Let's carry on with the exam. Same deal as before. Glide through the markers and get to the finish without stopping in the middle. I'm ready. Ooh. I want to need more lift. Thank, thank you. Where? Uh -huh. Ooh, oh no. Thank you. It's like there's a chest there. I want that. Let's just glide down slowly. Well, that was a kitty cat, but no, it's a lamp. <laughs> Seems like you've got the hang of wind gliding now. Let's do the final stage. Easy! You've flown this way before anyway! Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license. Just keep thinking about that license. Ready? Go! I guess. Hold on, Nelly hit the windmill. Blue exclamation, which means Windborne Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. Hi, Wh what's going on? Please show me your gliding license. Uh, it got eaten by Baron Bunny. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him. Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, he was last seen near Springvale. But that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. So I passed? Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean. I need license. What about my license? And you've got a quest. Well, I, I must know. Storm suddenly stopped. Is that a bad thing? Uh, no, it's, it's good that they, they stopped, yes. Hmm, but this is all too sudden. I came up with so many contingency plans. Are we not going to get the chance? To any of them? My contingencies including ways to scatter the people in the wild to avoid the storms, teach them how to survive. I'm going to teach them to set up basic camps, do pest control, avoid beasts and monsters. Ah, never mind. Rather than take our chances out there, better to remain safe within these walls. I ah, yes, some more investigating adventurers inform me that there are some monsters congregating in the Whispering Woods. Almost everyone is out investigating, I must remain here to command them. Traveler, can I count on you to clear those monsters out? No. Uh, consider it done. I will leave it to you then. Don't worry, you will be compensated fairly. So I imagine those quests will be ones where it's like I'd probably do those off the video. 
But let's get that one done now, at least. So we can at least see. We do one of them. So in future when it's like, I've done like 15 quests, you'll be like, alright, oh, oh, yeah, go kill stuff quests. Got it, got it, got it. Like I burn. So this is why I need my stamina up, because it's like that just building. Why are you in the pot? I have no idea. You didn't die? Is this the same location as in the other quest? Because there's an orange circle and I don't think that's related. To the one we're currently doing. But it could be to the license one. I don't know. It says quest area reach, so no. Just using that sort of like little bit left so I can do that. Definitely want to get more stamina. I can feel it. That's the thing is I feel that need for the stamina. Like running about, etc. It's like it just depletes it and I want more. Let's see about unleashing hell on these guys. Just for that. One guy's asleep. Oh, hi, mate. As a dutiful maid would. Animal hypostasis emulation. Who does more is there? Animal test sixty three oh eight. Barbados, guide us. Power the desert hot shot. Those things are attacking me, but it's like, it's just so small damage, it's not even worth considering. I need to talk to Cyrus now. Get those. Alright, I did it again with the trying to use the map. I think that's a holder from Yeast. I think. You know me, I get used to like a, like a muscle memory thing. We're like, map is left. Like, no, it is not in this game. Break the muscle memory. Break. The muscle memory. One day I believe in the future we'll reach a point where all games use the same controls. Mind controls, yes. So I'll think map and it won't matter. I just, just open up the map. You're back. What's the situation? There are still monsters out and about. Monsters are still in the area, eh? So it seems the effects of the storm have yet to disperse. <laughs> so there's still time then. Time for the Adventurers Guild to show its quality. It's up to... Us to take those monsters out in the wild, while the Knights of Pavonius are still focused on defending the city and the area around Mondstadt. I understand. Thanks for your help in investigating. I will reconsider the commissions that we'll, we'll be sending out. Take these as your reward. Not bad. Oh, going to freedom. Oh, I was so close to leveling up there, wasn't I? Um, right, so we're doing the other quest, aren't we? So, where do we want to quest? They call him Raptor. That's not what I wanted! No, I wanted the... T t next to it. There. Nah. Got there in the end. Okay, where are you? Literally down here, okay. This is Springvale. There must be some clues about Raptor around here. The sister from the cathedral put some secret animal markings on the artifact he took. 
Use your elemental sight and keep your eyes peeled for clues. And this is the thing. There's a lot of this that's feeling like yeast. Ooh, hey, what do you think this is? It looks like a broken tree branch. Oh, Paimon knows. It's from a frame of a wind glider. Hmm, a strip of cloth with animal markings on it. Looking at the design and the way it's woven, there's a good chance it came from a wing glider. Wow, Outriders have to be textile experts now? It's a harder job than Paimon thought. If this really... Hmm, how do we know if this was left by Raptor or an Animo Slime? Animo Slimes are airborne creatures. They don't leave marks on the ground unless someone stumped on one to take off. Hmm, how do we know if this was left by Raptor or an Animo Slime? That's not what that says. Either way, let's make a mental note of these markings. They're very clear. It appears that the elemental markings point this way. Huh. Well, do you think he ran off ahead? There's only one way to find out. Come on, we should keep following the markings. Ooh, what's that? Looks like something's going on up ahead. It sounds like there's a battle going on. Could that be Raptor? Quick, let's keep going. Let's. But yeah, like that skill, like like this, very reminiscent of a certain skill in Yeast Nine. <laughs> so it feels familiar. What's going on down here? Come closer and burn. Well, you know, Electra. If you're burning. Your shield would have been gone. Thank goodness, the Knights of Favonius have arrived. The hilly trolls won't dare pursue me any longer. What happened? I can't believe it, but the hilly trolls attacked our carts. <sighs> Luckily, I outran them. Hilly trolls? But I thought the Knights of Favonius had cleared out most of the hilly troll camps around these parts. It's a small camp not too far from the village. But the route I take on my delivery runs ensures I steer clear of it. But today... Oh, some crazy fellow suddenly fell out of the sky and landed right in the camp. Hmm, now, who does that remind me of? Oh, it really riled them up. They chased the funny-looking fellow as he fled, which brought them out in the open. I managed to get away, but they smashed my fruit carts to smithereens. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do when the merchant caravan gets here tomorrow. Funny-looking? In what way? He was holding on to something. Must have been heavy because he couldn't glide in a straight line to save his life. Maybe that's why he fell. Honestly, people like that shouldn't be allowed in the skies. It doesn't take a genius to know you're not supposed to carry heavy objects while gliding. I'm going to report that idiot and make sure he gets his license revoked. Heavy object? The artifact? This could well be our guy. Tell me, did you see which way he went? Uh, I managed to catch a glimpse as I ran from the hilly churls. I think he went that way. Seems like a strong lead. On with the chase! Oh, and don't worry. As soon as I get back, I'll tell the knights to mop up the rest of the hilly churls as soon as possible. If I remember. If not, you screwed. Sorry, but that's how it is. <laughs> Another time. <laughs> To ashes! What throws me then? They have some kind of like magician in this? Ah, yes, you. Apart from the hilly churls, there's a bunch of funny looking people too! Judging from the type of wind gliders they've got, I'd say this lot is with Raptor. But if that's the case, what are they hanging around here for? I wonder. Well, this measly bunch can't slow us down, that's for sure. Huh. Look where we are. There are no more elemental markings ahead. Don't need to use them, just following the map. The elemental power on the artifact must have worn off. Raptor must have realized the markings would give away his position and sent his minions to slow us down. That way, when the effect wears off, he can make his escape. He won't get away with this. After him! 
Go, go, go! Ooh. That was it? Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, like, the quest finished? Because I've got a quest marker now. Every day a new adventure. Okay, so stuff come up. Very much thinking, like, like, which quest do I want to do in the videos, and which do I want to do outside the videos? Hmm. If they're dailies, probably don't want to do those on the video. Whereas, like, these, this... The Archon quest, definitely. Definitely. Story quests, I feel yes. World quests, probably not. And, if, well, I assume going to be commission quests, because that's what it says. Probably not them either. Okay, so somewhere around here. Aha, there. Okay, no pyro in current party, but we can get that in quite simply. Let's take you out, put you in. You want me on your team? Yes. There's only one way over there. Raptor must be up ahead. However, it looks like the only way we can catch up is if we glide. But there's a ton of enemies below. They'll definitely attack us after we take off. If we're gonna do this, we'll have to glide and defeat them in one fell swoop. You still had one stage to go in your exam, right? Yeah, but what's that gotta do with anything? How about we make this the third and final stage of your gliding exam? Are you sure that's how the exam is supposed to go? It's a custom version of the exam, designed by yours truly. Besides, the normal version of the exam wouldn't be fit for the hero of Mondstadt himself. So, what do you say? Watch me nail, Raptor. Woohoo! Good answer! Prepare for takeoff! Raptor awaits you once you defeat all these enemies. Then that gliding license is yours! Alright then, so how do we do that then? Okay, use the nearby wind currents to keep yourself afloat while evading enemy attacks. While gliding, you can drop bombs to defeat all opponents this way. Can I? They're coming in! Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. It's kind of yeah. silly, but awesome at the same time. Yeah. 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 In fact, look out below! Ooh, I need to get back up there. Boom! Headshot. God, that takes me back. Oh, hello. Any chests or anything? Don't see anything. What happens if you glide? Oh, I've got no stamina. <laughs> It's like, why are you gliding? Because, oh uh, yeah, this is literally an ability that, that, that I require a certain amount of stamina to do that. So far, so good. Love the idea that we're doing bombing runs. I hope if I hit them as well, though. Why is it loading? Yeah, there we go. So let's press navigate and I'm getting nothing. So it's, it's a cabbage. Yep. I don't like cabbages. Hmm. It's 
just wondering, like, maybe I can hit stuff through the wall here. Maybe not. Let's use ranged attacks then to get you. I want to triangle there. That's the only thing. I need like a proper ranged character that uses a bow. One that actually does decent DPS would be nice. Like, yeah, I'm getting electrified, but maybe I was meant to destroy these rather than anything else. Maybe. Hope if I hit that. Maybe it's that then. Yeah, there we go. Felt like I had to electrify the water rather than not. So what can destroy this? Is it just generally damage. Yep, it's just damage. Oop, there's another one. Oh. I expected something special there, but no. Okay, so... What am I stuck on? Stuck on something. It's the floor. I think that's it. Oh no. There's more of these guys, okay. Do we have any wind currents we can use here? Okay, what's that room over there? Cheating getting burned by your own abilities. This feels like it was meant to be going somewhere, but... Maybe... And I'm not climbing here. That's what I was trying to do there. In case you're wondering why I like, just leaped to my death. I forgot she had that ability that doesn't really do anything. No, it's electric, so anything else would have been better, really. I must leave no stone unturned. Huh. Ha! Goodbye. Hmm. So I think like this place is around the place. I'm very much like, can I go over there? What kind of ha Ooh, apples. Uh, probably best to switch to you at this point. Ha. There we go, finally. That's all we're after? Cute. Like just Oh, they 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 died. What is with these ruins though? Like where actually are they? It looks like there's no way across. Ugh, he must be around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, autoplay. Amber! Over there! If you insist on chasing me, so be it. Huh? Who brought the little girl? You must be a raptor! You can't escape! 
<laughs> I don't need to escape. There's no way you can make it over here. Oh, it is pretty high. And quite far. Oh, little girl, why don't you run along home now and let your leader deal with this? Don't worry, I promise that once the Grandmaster gets here, I'll surrender immediately. <laughs> hey, watch it! You're talking to a Knights of Favonius Outrider! You'll be sorry when I arrest you! Let's examine our surroundings, just like you taught me. <sighs> You're right. Ugh, he's right there in front of us. If only we could glide across. <sighs> so how did he get across? Hmm. Some kind of elemental magic. Can you see anything with your elemental sight? No? Oh, okay. Never mind. Bye-bye, kiddo. Oh no! He's getting away! Ugh, we can't hesitate any longer. The only way to get across is to glide there. But... but... Don't worry. I'm the gliding champion of Mondstadt, remember? If Raptor can do it, I can do it too. Oi, Outrider! You have less chance of surviving this than jumping off the Animo God statue in Mondstadt without your wind glider. Ha <laughs> ha! Um... Uh, this will take some serious guts, but it's not completely impossible. Paimon sees your point. If you rule out everything that's completely impossible, gliding is the only idea left. Remember that book I lent you? The one I thought was the gliding manual, but wasn't? The first birds couldn't fly. Flight was their reward for their courage to plunge into the canyon. <sighs> Be my witness. Witness me. Go, go, Outrider. Raptor says I'll never make it, but... If you listen carefully... Wait! Stop! You'll never make it! Come on, off you go now. Back home like a good little girl. Raptor says I'll never make it. But if you listen carefully... The wind... The wind says I will make it! And that's good enough for me! You're crazy. Imagine there's some kind of current actually. This isn't Amber. You're crazy, kid! You must have known about the wind current. There's no way you would have jumped otherwise. The wind takes care of those who have courage. Now sit still and await your arrest, like a good little boy. Come to the water, guys. Come to the water. Just come over here. Yeah, ha, freeze! Here's ha, something ha. special. No. Thank you for warming me up. Ha. I was wondering where he was, I thought he was still there. But no. Take this. Oh, this freezing guy's getting annoying. We need to sort him out already. So let's switch over to you, Bennett. Over that, hang on. No escape. Oh, you jump out of the water when I want you to be in the water. Just, just come over here, mate. Just, just get in the water. Fine, don't then. Just I'll die then. Revenge. Eventually. All right, I got him. I only noticed the wind current from in the air, and it's the only one. It would be suicide to try and escape in the direction Raptor was going. In other words, the only way Raptor could have gotten out would be this way, past us. Aha! So he was just trying to fool us by acting smug, in the hope that we would just give up and leave. Little did he know, we're not so easily fooled. It was all thanks to your sharp thinking. Just like a wise man once said, once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. Ah yes, Spock's ancestor. At the end of the day, gliding is seven parts technique, three parts instinct, and then 90 parts courage. What you did now looked more like 99 parts courage. Ah, uh, it was just like in my first gliding exam. 
I was super nervous, but in the end, there was nothing to be afraid of, and I passed no problem. I kind of missed that nervous rush in the exams I've done since then. It just wasn't the same. Um, sorry. Paimon thought you said you passed no problem. What do you mean exams since then? Uh, well, you see, the thing is, Mondstadt is all no glide zone this, no landing zone that. <sighs> Every time I get my license, it keeps getting revoked. I must have taken the exam about 15 times altogether. But I always pass the first time. I guess my little gliding manual ain't so bad after all. Let's go and get a copy of the real gliding manual from acting Grandmaster Jean sometime. I feel sorry for Jean. I'll head off first because I need to escort Raptor back to the city. Once you're back in the city, don't forget to come find me at the cathedral. I'll issue your gliding license there. Let us get a chest out of this. <sighs> she just can't sit still, can she? Guess that's why she's the outrider. When this is all done and dusted, let's head to the cathedral in Mondstadt. <sighs> Getting this gliding license has turned into quite the adventure. Can I speak yet? Yeah, I really wanted to play around with those guys in the water here and really take advantage of all the lightning currents and... Uh, but no, they would not get in the water. I, oh, how rude. How incredibly rude. Basically, I'm just me learning and messing around with the elements and stuff like that and being more situational and aware and all that type of stuff. It's probably wise in the long run, isn't it? Okay. I do like these wings that I've got here. The question is, how fast is this going to load the cathedral, though? It just seems to be like the indoors. It takes a while to load the first time I ever do it. When I've loaded up the game, that is. Just strange. Like here. Why does it take a little while? Okay, ooh, it's quite dusty in here. We went here last time. Congratulations! Here is your gliding license! You're officially legal now! Yay! I'm not surprised, though. You are a natural after all. Yeah, it was easy. Oh, and I'll sign you up for the next wind gliding championship. I glide so fast that no one can keep up. It's just me up there, on my own, gliding around. <sighs> it's kind of boring. You won't stand a chance of winning if you sign me up. Oh, fighting talk. <laughs> it seems you have no idea how terrifying the championship really is. Well, until I kick your butt in the championship, I wish you a happy, liberating, and above all, law-abiding, gliding experience. Make sure you obey the rules. Whatever you do, don't get your license revoked. Oh, brother. If you ask me, that's a bit rich coming from Amber. Indeed. There we go. To be continued. Alright, so, let's end this part here. And what I may do now is go off and do a bit more exploring, a bit more gathering treasure chests and stuff like that, getting stuff like like I did previously. Three parts ago from your point of view, I think. Just go do a, a lot of stuff, basically, and get me leveled up a little in terms of my um adventure rank and stuff like that. So, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.